Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to How Train Your Gavin. Today I'm going to be doing a very old tag. I'm really scared about this camera situation. It is currently on a whole pile of crates and it's leaning down. So this camera could fall at any moment. Let's just add to the stress of this video. I have just unpacked all of my books and I thought what better way to celebrate unpacking all those books than doing the Do I Have That Book Challenge. This tag was created by Keeping Tabs way back in 2018. So he has me in 2021 trying to be down with the kids. I thought let's make the challenge even harder. Let's make sure that I cannot find a fucking thing. This is in no order either. This is in no order. Everything is just kind of pooped together. There's classics in the back, there is middle grade there, there's young adult and adult all mixed in here-ish. It's just going to make this challenge even harder because I have to find loads of books in this stack now. So let's just watch me descend into madness. And I'm going to time myself doing this as well, which is going to make it even harder, but I believe a lot of other people have timed themselves doing this challenge. But I'm sure when people have done this challenge, they've been able to see all of the books that they have. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in this video. Let's start. Let's start. So, three, two, one, go. Do you have a book with deckled edges? Yes, I'm sure I do somewhere. Yeah, I remember Cody from Cody's Book Corner got me one. I genuinely have no idea where anything fucking is. <gasps> got it. Oh, this is going to make me even worse. Uh, Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. This has Deckle letters. Um, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oh, for God's sakes. I'm just looking at everything. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Rainbow Grey. Rainbow Grey by Laura Ellen Anderson. That has three on the cover. Next. Oh my God, doing so well. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Um, well, I'm sure. Yeah, there'll be some kind of retelling in here somewhere. Um, you guys, um, oh, huh. I, um, I don't know if it counts. Oh, uh, what's the sake of another fictional story? Does like myth and legend count? Because I've got the same with Achilles there. That's like based on um, Achilles. So, but is that fictional? I don't know actually. Hmm, I'll, I'll find something else. I'll find something else. Where's the return? Come on, give me a return. Come on. I'm sure there's a wily one somewhere. Oh, yes. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, bitch. The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. This is based on Les Miserables. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? A book with a title 10 letters long. Um, so does it have, it has to be one word. <gasps> oh, yes, right over here. Right over here. Um, oh God. Oh. Mm. I believe this is just one title. Ah, uh, yeah it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I'm sure, yeah, there's twelve. Does it have to be ten exactly? Or can it be twelve? The table ten that was I mean, does it have to be exact? Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'm already out of breath. Table ten that was done. Frost heart, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> frost heart! Frost heart, frost heart, frost heart, frost heart. That's ten. I didn't even realise. Of course, frost heart. Okay, next. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Um, no. Uh, nope. Nope. Table P A B A R Y O A T A. Oh my god. Um, oh, oh, oh no, because it ends at the next. Fuck. Oh, I'm not going to count the, the Silence of the Lambs. S S. There we go. Do you have a mass market paperback book? Would you count. Like, what do you think, like, these are mass market? I don't understand really what a mass market paperback book is. I just thought it's just paperback. I think this is mass market paperback. Oh, oh, I need a quick look. What is a mass market paperback? A significantly smaller and more affordable. Yes, okay, I feel like the child books are mass market paperbacks because they're tiny. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Using a pen name. I'm sure you guys can see everything right now. You can see what's on the top. You're like, right there, right there. But I don't know. Is George R. R. Martin really his name? Or did he just want to rip off G.R. Tolkien? See, so, yeah, this is my problem is I'm just going to all the books on the top. Is R.L. Stein really his real name? Or is he just making that up? I don't know. I don't know what his, somebody's pen name is. Because if it was a pen name, how am I supposed to know his real name if he used a pen name in the first place? I'm the king. I'm the king for the one I love. 
to famous, to famous, to Danny, to Danny. I don't know people's real names. That's the only problem. Oh, Lemmy Snicket. Lemmy Snicket. I believe his real name's like Daniel Hanna or something. Oh my gosh. Do you know how to look at the character's name in the title? I'm pretty sure you do. Oh, yeah. Tilly in the Map of Stories by Anna James. Do you want to put the two maps in it? Two maps in it. I'm sure I do, you know, but I think they're like right under the bottom of these over here. I don't want to risk taking it out. So two maps. Oh! Crowfall by Ashley Hardy. Pretty much two maps side by side there. And also the ring right there as well. Oh! Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin. Well, that one's Clash of Kings, like, but. It was adapted. Also, if I don't want to go the obvious route, I mean, this is still obvious as well, I guess. Shirley Jackson, Home Wonderful House. That was also adapted. I don't think that went there, but that didn't it? Not that it matters because it's all messed up anyway. Do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else? Yes, I do. Oh, well, there's one specific person that comes to mind. Yeah. Ah. I mean, there's probably roles like, but. I just want to show up this one because I love it so much. The Hatmakers by Tamsin Merchant. She is an actress who was in like the Tudors, in Salem, which is one of my favourite shows. Okay. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? No, this is no good for me. No good for me. When I can't even see all of the books. Can't even just pull them out either just to, just to see. Um, oh, maybe. One of these classics will have one on. Let's just go through them all. Oh, 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 um, what a count if it's a stopwatch? I feel like, well, a stopwatch is technically a clock, right? So I'll have a twist, Charles Dickens, loads of little stopwatches there. <laughs> Do you have a poetry book? A poetry book? Ah, I don't think I do. Is this poetry? Ah, okay, yes I do. For Everyone by Jason Reynolds. This is poetry. Huh, that surprised me. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Yes, literally. So it's The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison. That has a big winner of the Hugo Award sign on it, as it should. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Oh, here we go. I can't even check on the shelves to say alphabetical because none of this is really alphabetical anymore. G H. You know what? I genuinely don't think so. I'm even trying to like think where things were in the area. Like maybe there was an, some H's somewhere. Some H's. Oh, I'll never be forgetting that. Uh, oh gosh, I just saw Tanya hit it there, and I was like so close. I mean, not really though. Any classic authors? I don't believe I do. I'm sure I probably looked in the past and I just knew I didn't. So I'm just gonna have to say I feel on that one. But if anybody knows any authors with the initials GH, let me know. Do you have a book of short stories? Yes, I do. I book here. Oh, well, actually, I've got two. Well, I've got more than that, but two I've got five. The Book of Hopes. Um, edited by Catherine Rundle, and there's loads of authors on the back there. And also the Puffin Book of Big Dreams, which also has loads of authors in. It even has a short story set in the Frost Hall world, which I love. Do you have a book that's between 500 and 510 pages on? Come on. Come on. Who asks that kind of question right now? Oh, I don't even know where to start. Maybe a Stephen King book? Yeah, 800, 300, <gasps> no way, no way, I literally found exactly 510, no way. Okay guys, oh my gosh, right, The Giant's Almanac by Andrew Zercher, look at this, right, look, 509, okay, and then 510, although it doesn't, for some reason it doesn't have the page number on the bottom. And then it goes into the acknowledgements, which means it ends on page 510. <laughs> where did it go? Oh man, where did it go? Oh, I'm just going to put it anywhere again. Okay, amazing. Oh my god, I can't believe I, I, can't believe I found that. Oh.
Do you want to put those two into a movie? So book first and then the movie. Oh. Has there something recently come out on Netflix? I'm going to rest coming over here. I mean, Children of Blood and Bone is going to be made into a movie, right? But it hasn't been made a movie yet. So I don't think I can count on that. And Shad is definitely a teen book that I can use. <gasps> the Cheetah Girls! It was made into three Disney Channel original movies, and I adore the first two. Third one's alright, but I miss reading so much. But yes, The Cheetah Girls, yes, of course. That was books first, 16 of them, painfully so. Do I have a graphic novel? This is the second last question. Why did I put my graphic novels? Oh, I mean, I want to use the latest one. Frost Heart, Volume 4 by Alice Osman. Very nice, very nice. And then finally, what's the last question? Do you have a book written by two or more authors? 100%. Here we go. Seven Devils All Around You. Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. Beautiful. The end timer, end timer. How did I do? How did I do? I don't know how I did. I think I did pretty well considering all of these books. Wow, wow, I'm so impressed with myself, I really am. Anyway, that was the tag. That was my first video in my new house. I'm so excited. Hopefully by the time I get my bookshelves in and everything, the echo will be reduced dramatically because we don't like this echo, you know. So yeah, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the original tag reader down below, keeping tabs. I will link her channel down there. And I will also put in the questions in the description box. There was a link to all my socials, just in case you want to follow me on those. And yeah, please leave this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.